place is creeping me out already. It's fantastic. We're shot dead here. It sounded like someone took a really deep breath, like, <sighs> I can see. A lot of cases of possession. Man, this is creepy already. I'm really nervous. I'm actually going to actually for this game. Me too. What the f is that? The singing was right here. We just heard another noise from this room. into Amy's Crypt and welcome to the infamous 99 Doors Mansion. This is one of the most cursed and haunted places here in Malaysia, making it a prime candidate for a nighttime paranormal investigation, so stay tuned. Alright guys, I'm really excited to show you around and take you inside the 99 door mansion. So this mansion was built by a British family. They moved over to Malaysia. It was built in the late 1800s. Basically this family was very, very wealthy and they moved here to create a rubber tree plantation which also did very well for them. So as a result, they were able to afford this lovely mansion. Infamous for having 99 doors, which is such an odd number, but it gives it a really cool name. This staircase here, which was the front entry, kicks off our first ghost story and the terrible history of this place. So John Ramston was shot dead here. On this staircase, two bullets went into his head. No one knows who murdered him or why that person murdered him, though it's speculated it could have been a rival plantation owner that was jealous of how well his plantation was doing. Now for the Ramsden family, tragedy did not stop there. There's some rumors that exist saying that John's wife hanged herself in the house shortly after his death. Though there's also other rumors saying that the entire Ramsden family were killed on this premises by Japanese soldiers who invaded and took over the mansion during World War II. And now a lot of locals believe that it is their spirits that have continued to haunt this mansion. Though the stories and paranormal occurrences get far darker and more creepy than just your typical haunting. After the Ramsden family were wiped out, this place became abandoned. And it's said that a local Malaysian witch doctor actually moved into the mansion. And every night he would open up a portal to the spirit realm. And it said that a lot of evil and negative entities were able to come and go through this mansion. And as a result, a lot have been trapped here and still exist today. Now, this witch doctor, which is known locally as a bomber, was actually someone that people came to to speak to dead relatives or to put curses or hexes on people. So if you didn't really like someone, you could come and get them cursed here at this mansion. Now, part of the story goes that, as I mentioned earlier, this place has 99 doors. But at midnight, a 100th door appears and opens. And it is this door that allows past witch doctors who are now dead to come and go from the plane of death to the plane of life as they please and kind of wreak havoc on the living still. It's gonna be quite an interesting place. There's said to be a lot of spiritual activity still here. A lot of spirits brought in from the other side, a lot of who are described as being very negative and very evil. People say they have black eyes and they're tall, dark, shadowy figures, very commonly seen in here. There's also been a lot of cases, which makes me a little bit nervous and I don't really know what to expect tonight, but a lot of cases of possession as well. So a lot of people have supposedly been taken over by dead witch doctors in here, which is quite interesting and quite creepy. And we have this place to ourselves. So we're gonna explore, um, I'll show you around, and we'll of course be reaching out tonight and seeing if these claims of the paranormal here at the 99 door mansion are true. So one cool thing I just found is this sign here.
99 Mansion. I'm not venturing into these rooms because if you take a peek, the floor is super damaged. You can also see the termite damage on the roof as well, which concerns me about going upstairs. I don't actually know if we'll find another access point anyway. This grand staircase is completely barred off. This room you can actually see even worse, the damage to the floor. It's pretty nuts. So yeah, the rumor is there's exactly 99 doors here. I've seen a lot of doors so far. I don't know if this counts as one or two doors, because is it doorway or door? This room has a lot of flies in it. I don't know if this floor is safe either. To your left on this pillar. Oh yeah. It looks like there's a, some handprints halfway up as well. On the wall. Oh yeah. They look creepy. I'd say it's there as a support. Yeah, um, that makes me kind of nervous. I'm really nervous. It's scared to walk in. So Jared just asked if I walked over here and then back because there's footprints on the ground. They are not my footprints. So Maybe someone else has been here. Yeah, people, other people have definitely come up here, I think. I don't know if that makes me feel better about being up here because this floor doesn't look too bad, the room that we're in. I noticed a lot of the other floor has holes in it and termite damage, which makes me very nervous. So I definitely don't think I'm coming up here at night and we're just going to be like super careful while we explore in the day. But it is really beautiful up here besides all of the creepy little bird nests that are about. They freak me out. Other than that, I mean, you can see how beautiful the mansion was. Paint, um, you can see lead lighting. These arches are awesome. Well, this one's still got glass in it, I think. To be honest as well, this place is in pretty good condition. Like graffiti wise and vandalism. Yeah, there's none of it. Yeah, there is some, a little bit I noticed downstairs, but not a whole lot. All right, so I made it this far, we'll see you safe, Joe. There's definitely been other people up here. There's a whole cigarette on the floor. And there's some fake cobwebs. Okay, so there is 99 doors in here. And I guess that was one of them slamming. There's quite a bit of wind, so. What was freaky though? Did you hear that screech? Like animals screeching when the door did slam? I didn't hear that now. Okay. I heard something else then. So this place has been abandoned for like 50 years. It doesn't seem too bad, <laughs> strangely. Like there's still door handles on here and stuff. So this room up here is super gnarly. It's really unsafe looking. I can actually see through a crack in the ground. So I don't know how well the camera picks up, but that allows me to see through to the lower floor, which terrifies me. You can kind of just see how old this place is as well. I don't know why this like super old picture of a camper van is stuck on the back of this door but I'm not going to be going into this one. This place is like perfect for a Halloween party. 
It's already decorated. <laughs> this place is amazing. It's really, really cool. I didn't actually think that we would be able to access or get into this place. It was a lot easier than I thought that it would be. But just up here, this definitely is like the real haunted mansion, I tell you. It is scary, it looks beautiful. It's been abandoned for a long time. And all the stories that go with it are the creepiest stories as well. It's one of my favorite places, I think. Loving the spiral staircase and this room alone has at least eight doors or eight doorways so 16 if you're saying two doors per doorway and it is really really hot today so please excuse the sweat because I've also had to dress up and wear things because I didn't know what the condition of this place was gonna be like so whenever I go exploring I like to wear my boots and jeans at minimum Upstairs, it looked way too dangerous just to go around and explore everything, so we're gonna carry on and just go around this way. I don't know what these little shacks here are. What's that? Here are, here are, here are, here are. Well, rats or screws or something? I can see them. Where? There's little rats or screws in the roof. Oh, really? Yeah. I can't see them. Anyway, I don't know what these shacks are, if they're doing or want to at least do works on this place. One of them's definitely an outhouse. Yeah, I don't know what that is. This uh, building, I'm pretty sure, is historically listed, so that's probably why it's still surviving to this day. This was a noose. That's creepy. Yeah, the floor in there doesn't seem as safe either. I guess this is another way up. Feels kind of solid, but it's all wood. I don't know why they would block off the main entry, but have these other access points around. Something just fell from the roof, so either there's like an animal up there, or that it's crumbling. If you look up, this actually looks like fire damage. Yeah, there's been a fire here. And you can see the holes in the floorboards up here too. Yeah, I'm not going up there. It's crazy, yeah. That plank above your head is paper thin too. Yeah. Termite damage. Just here. Yeah, I can yeah. see right through that. I'm gonna check out this room. I love how the tiling is still here. These marks on the wall were interesting. Yeah, I don't know what that's from. Looks like sawdust or something. Ooh, remnants of a photo frame here. Oh, really? A portrait. Is that real gold? <laughs> you wish. Seriously, it's like gold. That's not gold. You can see all the decoration on the wall still as well. What's in this one? What the f 
fuck is that? Doesn't that look like restraints or something? Yeah. I don't know what that is. That's so odd. Hmm. I heard that. I don't know, there's lots of doors, they're probably just swaying in the wind. It sounded like someone walking up there. I hope not, because they'll probably oh, fall through onto us. Just that. I thought I heard people's voices in that room, as if there was someone, you know, some other adventurers coming to check this place out. I was actually expecting to see someone come in, but maybe not. Maybe that's the 100th door. This shabby pink one on the floor. <laughs> I think you cracked the case, Jared. <laughs> Jared's worried there's going to be someone living in this shack and it's going to cause issues tonight. I swear I heard, uh, heard He voices. just said he heard voices. Yeah, heard like a deep male voice. I just heard voices as well. I thought that... Almost like they were upstairs or they were just like out the front of the house. Mm, maybe the camera picks them up, I don't know. I wasn't maybe, recording at the time. Yeah. Maybe there's other people around or it's a ghost. I do just want to check there's no one here though. Alright, so now we're just kind of waiting for night to roll in so we can investigate the mansion, but it's already getting really dark and that's because there's a lot of cloud cover and there's thunder rolling in. So I don't know if we're gonna get caught out in a storm here. We also don't have a car or anything. We got dropped off here and this place is in the middle of nowhere. So I don't know if we're gonna get trapped in here in a bloody thunderstorm and not be able to get back because this place is kind of remote. Hey Ames, it looks like they used to have cable. Yeah. Alright, so we're just waiting to lose all the light and I kind of like standing in this spot for some reason. So Jared and I just walked and stood here and there was something really loud just beside both of us. He thought it was me exhaling but I heard it as well. It sounded like someone took a really deep breath like like right beside us. Right here. Right here, yeah. It was really odd. It's weird that you were also saying I really like standing here. Yeah, I was talking at the time when it happened. It was, I mean, the only other noise really is some birds out there and bugs, but that was really close to us. I think maybe we try and reach out here later. I don't know why I feel like standing in this spot as well. It's, it's nice for you. Yeah, it's not like it's the front of the building or anything though. Can you hear like singing or something? Can you hear it? Yeah, I think it's a Muslim prayer. I don't know where the frig the music's coming from. I swear it sounds like it's coming from like that window. Surely not. It's got to be coming from the road or something. It sounds like a person, it's not a speaker, right? I, don't, like I can't can tell. There's no one there. I swear the singing was like a 
coming just out of here. There's no one there. Weird. There was out there. No, there wasn't. There was. Oh, I just missed him. There's little squirrels in here. They're really cute. So it's super dark in the mansion. What was that? Hello? Hello? Okay, this room is empty. It was just a distant pop outside as well, like a firecracker or something. Did you hear that? There's something big up there. It's like a kid running up the stairs or something. That is creepy. I'm actually not sh actually for this game. Me too. Where was that noise coming from? On the stairs, right? Yeah. That was right above our head. Are you filming me? Yeah, I was. Hello, is there someone there? I don't know what could have made that noise because that There's was. Someone running up the stairs. That sounded bigger than any animal we've seen. We've and as you guys have seen, this is all blocked off. The only thing I've seen here is squirrels. Squirrels and birds. Should be this bright. Sorry. So it's still not dark yet, and we're already getting activity. I don't know. What that was. Are you still coming? Yeah, I am. Let, let me just check around this corner. Hello? Is there anyone here? I have no idea. It sounds so cool. It so. sounds like it could be some kind of prayer, but guys, we're literally in the middle of nowhere. Um, the, we're just on a big plantation. <laughs> there is a shrine over there, but um, I mean, you think there might be a speaker? Three, no. It's just three candles that someone lit earlier. Man, this is creepy already. Fuck, I thought up. Are they bats? They're maybe birds. No, they were bats. Okay, so we do have bats in here. Okay. All right, we just heard another noise from this room. So I missed that. 
unless it's some animal in here. Okay. Yeah, go in. There's nothing in here though. I just checked it out. So I don't know what's making the noise in here. Maybe you do experiment here tonight. For sure, yeah. Definitely that's fine that now as well. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, I was going to see it today, but I'm seeing it now. I'm looking at it under the house or around. Um, at the roof or something. Roof or something yeah. Alright, let's get out of here. Alright, so we missed it on camera because we just stopped rolling because we're trying to preserve battery power, but there was just a massive bang upstairs. It definitely could have been a door slamming, but. When it happened, there was no wind, so I'm hesitant to think that it could have been that. But already this place seems crazy. Like, Jared and I both, we're both skeptics and we, we don't mess around. We both heard a breath behind us just down here in that area. Then I was hearing noises in this room and as we were looking into there, we both heard footsteps on the stairs above us. We're completely alone here. It's giving me chills just to like talk about that. But they were very distinct footsteps and I hope that my camera audio picked it up. We're completely alone here as well. There's not anyone like that's even remotely close. There is a road out that way, but it's a fair distance through the plantation so you might hear the occasional car going past but it's not a busy road i don't know this place is creeping me out already it's fantastic <laughs> that was very weird can you hear voices i can definitely hear voices coming from inside the house can you tell me who your murderer was people coming the very first thing that i want to investigate kind of scares me a lot of people have been physically attacked in this house. Now the batteries are dead. We want to talk to the person we heard on the staircase. Are you okay? One of my legs is just shaking. And we can actually hear voices around us. It's so odd. I tell you. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure that you are subscribed because I have a part two video on this location dropping really soon on my channel. But if you enjoyed today's video, remember to like, comment, share and subscribe. If you want to do more reading on the 99 Doors Mansion or any other haunted places I have visited, head to amyscrypt.com. You guys can also follow me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter at amyscrypt. Until next time, 